Hi, uh, I would like to show you how to create a 3D model of glass installation in Reno uh, with Grasshopper. The components are placed uh, randomly and then I make uh, collision analysis. Uh, so the components are moved to the new positions without uh, collisions. Uh, well, let's start uh, with a basic uh, example. I switch off these layers and enable basic script and uh, look to the model. I have a rectangle and uh, with a tool populate 2D uh, I can place randomly points to this shape. Mm, I can set the number of points and the seed of the random function so I can change the positions of the points. But uh, some of the points or the distances between the points are too short and when we uh, place the components to these points there will be a collision between uh, these uh, components. So uh, how to fix this problem? Uh, we can make a collision analysis and push uh, these components uh, to the new positions uh, without collisions. So I can place uh, circles to these points and you can see that some of the circles uh, have intersections uh, with another ones. So the components will have a collisions. Uh, if you want to program it, uh, it will be a bit difficult, but luckily we have a Kangaroo plugin uh, and in this plugin there is a toolbar uh, for collision tools or with collision tools and there is a tool Curve Collide and this is it. Uh, as an input we need closed curves in a one construction plane. Uh, the other inputs are about these construction planes and uh, we can leave it uh, in a basic or default sets. Uh, and next tool uh, is a solver from the main toolbar. This is solver uh, that calculates the new positions. Uh, here you uh, must uh, set the reset or connect to the toggle button to uh, to reset because uh, because when the solver is running and when you change the inputs uh, all the results of the solver will be stored here and sometimes it's necessary to reset these uh, values from the solver so uh, I can preview on, so you switch preview on on the solver and change the button to the switch the button to the false and now you can see that the circles are moved to the new positions and you can see that uh, these new positions are without collisions. I switch off the st start uh, circles and this is the results. Uh, I can show you once again. I switch this button to true and to false and you can see how the solver iterate the position of the curves of the circles. So the results are these points, it's uh, centroids of the curves and the curves. So we now uh, we can see how it works and now uh, I disable this, uh, this script and enable the first part of the next script uh, that makes the glass installation enable. So mm, the beginning is the same. I have a curve, it's a rectangle and I use a tool populate 2D to place uh, 
points into this shape randomly. I can uh, change the shape to another one, but uh, now I have a rectangle and I have uh, I have these glass components, one and two. You can um, have more than two components. And these components we will place to, to the points, to the glass installation. Um, around these components I draw curves. Uh, I can name it uh, them the collision curves. So I will compute the collision with these curves and finally place the components to the new positions. So here um, here are inputs of the of the script. Uh, this input uh, is uh, for the curves one and two and uh, this input is for the components uh, in the you must select them in the same order and now and now I can uh, preview this uh, this tool move tool and you can see that uh, the collision curves are placed randomly to the random points. Uh, I use this random tool. Uh, the range is set to 0 to 1 and uh, I make a list of uh, values uh, for, the, for the collision curves that are randomly choose from these two. So I have a list of uh, randomly choose curves and these curves are moved to the random points and you can see that they have collisions uh, and now I uh, can use the same uh, collision solver uh, that we have in a, in a basic script so this is a curve collide tool and a solver uh, and now I can preview on the solver and uh, switch the button to the force and you can see the new positions of the curves and these curves are not in collisions. Uh, so uh, I switch off this preview and this is a new, uh, uh, this is a result of the solver. I can do it once more, uh, switch to true and switch to false. And now these are the iterations of the positions of the curves. So this is the collision curves and now we will place uh, the components to the final position of uh, the glass installation. So I switch on or enable the second part of the script, enable. Um, and I show this, uh, show you this shape. Uh, this is a sub D plane, but it can be a surface or poly surface. It looks, uh, it uh, looks like a wave. Uh, I like sub D, uh, sub D sh shape or planes because I can move the um, control points and the shape is changing very quickly. So you can make many va variants. Uh, of the of uh, the installation and uh, this shape is uh, is an input for the here I can uh, switch on the preview and this shape is here so we have results from the solver these are the new points and the curves and now I project these points uh, to the to the sub D plane with a tool project points mm, and now I make a, make lines between the uh, the new points in a construction plane and uh, the points on the sub D shape and on these line, lines we can make uh, we can create pipes uh, this will be wires 
And now uh, I would like to place the glass uh, components to the final positions uh, here. Mm, I use the Orient tool and uh, I need uh, construction planes, start construction planes here, mm, here and the target construction plan, planes here. Uh, when we need a construction planes, uh, we must have uh, more than only one point because these uh, components are rotated around the z-axis. Uh, so we need uh, more points, not only uh, this one. Uh, so we can have uh, uh, centroid, centroid points of uh, of the collision curves and endpoints. Mm, I switch off this uh, layer. Uh, so, cen centroid points and endpoints. When we have two points, we can have a vector. Uh, then we can rotate the vector around that axis. And when here we have two vectors, we can have a uh, construction plane. And in the same way, I make a construction plane, start construction plane here. And uh, now we can orient, uh, we can orient the components to the final position. And the last tool is this page, uh, when uh, where I mm, divide the list of the components to two parts uh, due to the two types of the components. So this is one component and this is a two type of component. <clears throat> I will uh, bake it separately to two layers uh, and uh, set them uh, to materials. So, uh, and that's all. The script is all. I can um, disable the script and uh, switch on the layers with baked objects in a rendered view. You can see this. Uh, and this is the final model of the glass installation. Uh, the objects are, or components, are moved uh, to the places or to the positions without collisions. So I can make a plan from this model and make a real installation. Mm, when we are in the grasshopper, we can change everything. We can make more variants of the model in a very short time. Uh, and uh, we can compute components uh, that are actually used in model or calculate the components, the number of components, the types of components, the materials of components, write the lengths of the wires and export all these values to Excel. Uh, and there we can calculate, for example, prices of the uh, model variants very quickly. Uh, this is not uh, in this script, but I can show you in another tutorial. So, thank you for your attention.